Dixie Baby Live and whoo, look at the hair. I'm in the process of getting everything this color. Whack, back, whack, whack to my new channel. I would like, blah, blah, blah. I would like to say welcome back to my whack channel. No, I'm just joking. I have been ill, okay? I've gotten better, getting better. So I decided to just go ahead and get rid of the dark colored hair out with the old and with the new but as you see right here I am going through a process so you will see me next video with this color hair all the way now you can see I'm making spaghetti the best spaghetti ever yes I used to hate spaghetti and now I just love it so we got olive oil I use the spray kind out the can we've got veggie machil chopped veggies here we have um, getting ready to actually put these cores of the of the buffalo. I was gonna say the bell pepper, the cores of the buffalo, the cores of the bell pepper. I do like to leave a few seeds of the bell pepper inside my. I don't know why it gives it more flavor. I'm not lying. When I say that, and I'm gonna use half of an onion. You're gonna gather it all in this pot right here with the olive oil and your meat of choice. I'm using ground chicken. All right, I'll be right back. The kids in the city can't get that song out of my head. I got some big old um, no on it. It's the kid channel. Well, it's supposed to be anyway. Okay, so now that we got the onion. I like to put all my trash in my spaghetti box that was trash. I got my onion wrapped up. I got my quotas, my quotas of my onion, my quotas. Let me go ahead and turn this one over here. My onion quotas. I look like a midget, don't I? No, it's it just, just a camera trick, but um, ain't nothing wrong with no midgets now. I heard they know how to cook real well. And they know how to pick them all. Um, them on um, the proper veggies from out the farm and stuff. One of my friends had a bunch of midgets living with him, almost like um, Snow White Dwarf. He had a bunch of midgets living with him, Mexican midgets at that, and they were really cool. They could sing, they could dance, and they, they was always picking up, um, you know, they was always picking up different there's picking up the onions off the ground and eating them and stuff and he, he said i don't know but something about it but every time i let them cook they had the best onion flavor and they did the rest i said honey that's just because they were mexicans they were spanish any kind of spanish people know how to cook good filipinos spanish jamaican even whites remember i'm on my uh, tv guys so um the volume has to be down. So I don't care how you chop these onions, just as long as they get chopped, okay? As long as they get chopped, put them in the pan. You can do them any way, any sections. I heard they're best when they cut in small pieces. Me, I like to cut them in long because I like to hurry up with it. And I like sometimes long onions in mine. It don't matter to me, but I do like the short little onions. I, I, I prefer them when they're small. But... I just like to hurry and get the job done when I'm rushing. And if I'm having vegetarian spaghetti, that's what I meant to say. I like to cut them big because I won't have no meat in there. Okay, well, we're having the chicken kind today, honey. I, I'm, 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 I like chicken a lot, okay? So we got these. We want these noodles al dente, y'all. We don't want them to... Um, we, do, we do not want them to soft and not too hard but we do want a little bit of firmness to them the french term i believe it is, is al dente my brother gavin taught me that okay be right back y'all you notice the chin is getting a little thinner not a lot of fat i don't have the camera face funny i'm losing weight y'all so be proud of me because i'm proud of me i just came from the water earlier so my hair is wet my hair wet okay we're going to set these onions back here and be right back. All right, so we got the ground chicken from Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and open her up. 
Now my favorite secret ingredient to my, there's two secret ingredients. It depends which kind you like. I like to put curry in it and I love, curry is not a must, but I'll tell you one thing that is a must. And it is a very big must in my spaghetti, honey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this pot back here. As you can see it's beautiful and lovely coated for the vegetables when they go in. The chicken doesn't have much fat in it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it in there and let it start to brown. Um, I like to give it a number six, almost a high. Alrighty then. going to show you the whole thing because it's starting to pop because I have it up pretty high. I put it on a six. Now we're going to knock it right down to a four once you hear it popping. It's on and popping. Almost like Chris Brown, baby. It's on and popping, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take whatever utensil we're going to use to beat it up. I'm going to use one of these. Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. That's what she said. We're going to beat it up. So we're going to pull it back here off of the burner. And we're going to beat it up with this whisk. I like to whisk it in, whatever. But I know this, the seasons you must have, I want to talk about for a while. While this is sitting here doing its thing thing, okay, y'all? And I'm going to keep this right here because I don't want it to touch anything after it's had raw meat on it. Some people have like some type of paper towel. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do, but I don't like having a paper towel near the stove. Hold on. Yo, so there might be a slight interruption in the schedule. So sorry about that. This goes right here because I don't like putting paper towels near the burner, but I'm gonna be right here, so I'm gonna watch it. It has raw meat, had touched the raw meat, so I don't like it touching anything. But I wanted to go over a few things with you. This is the spray that I use, any kind of spray. Do olive oil in there, you can use regular olive oil. But one thing, I have to have my garlic, okay? I do like my smoked paprika and I do like my curry powders because they make it a little thicker and more flavorful and it's hidden in the spaghetti. It makes it taste great along with the garlic powder. But this is a must. This is a can't. This is a can't do without. This is a can do without. Okay. I like to have tomato paste. So of course we're gonna have the tomato sauce, any kind. That kind's a meat-based tomato sauce, and the honey. That's a can't do without. Now, give me one moment. Yes, I'm losing weight, y'all. So give me one moment. Don't you see my eyes? Give me one moment. I'm losing weight, child. The sage is really good to have. Garlic powder. This, this. I don't need no black pepper, but I do need the cheese. I'm almost done. Okay. So, definitely the cheese is not a must have, but it's a very good product to have. Don't need the Italian seasoning, it's a very good product to have. Definitely is a must have, the garlic kind of must have. The sage is an additional like to have. And the curry. I have the Jamaican curry and I have blurry curry. The blurry curry. The curry powder. I'm gonna use this one since it's still open. Jamaican curry. Mild curry, I'll wait to use. Okay, y'all. So, like I said, let's check these noodles and make sure they're al dente. Go ahead and put your oven on about 400 degrees. Do some garlic bread. These are softer than al dente. But, oh, wait, nope, the al dente. So turn them off. Make sure that rear was still on. Oh, my. Turn them off. I'm going to show you how to base your noodles. You want to get this water up out of here. 
But right quick, before you do anything else, go ahead and give this chicken back here a nice little whisk once more again. Okay? Until that chicken starts cooking up. You want that chicken to cook really good. Once it's cooked, you can add your vegetables. You might want to turn, ooh, look at it splitting everywhere because I splash, splashed it, okay. We're gonna turn that up a notch to a number five on the back burner back there. We're gonna take our noodles, go ahead and strain them out. Excuse me, darling, these hot noodles are so hot. They hit your spot in all the places that you thought not. You didn't even know you had it. Okay, so I drained the majority of the water out. Okay, there's going to be a little bit in there. That's okay. Because we turned them off. We're going to go ahead and get our noodles seasoned. You can do it this way. You can do it anyway. So I like to rain my noodles with olive oil. Matter of fact, him and the avocado butter. In the refrigerator. I like to use butter, olive oil, whatever. We're gonna do a little both today to show off. Make it fancy schmancy, you feel me? Okay, let's go look over here. Get that fancy schmancy, you feel me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there should be a little block not used on the way. I'll take that one. Thank you. My avocado crock butter, we got a little portion of that. Especially since I'm using chicken, I'll go ahead and drop a little fourth of a pad in that meat. The avocado butter is great. It goes very far. It's very rich. So I want to get my powders in there that act as gravies. So we're going to, because we got the butter in there. So we're going to put smoked paprika. Get at Walmart for about $1.48. Put that smoked paprika in there. Excuse my psoriasis if you caught that on, on my elbow. Just a little dry skin, y'all. See if anybody wants to know psoriasis look like you. Okay, so I get about a tablespoon of this um, smoked paprika. Be careful your seasoning don't get soft because the steam coming from here. So you want to go ahead and throw in your garlic powder. You won't use this again though. The garlic powder. And you can go and throw in your curry. You definitely want your curry. Same thing a tablespoon. Yeah boy. Alright. You can go ahead and do salt to taste. I do about 10 sprinkles of sea salt. Yes, I do salt. I do about 20 sprinkles of Italian seasoning. I do about some sage. I do about six sprinkles of sage. I got the squeezed garlic, we're gonna use that again. So we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze a lump in there. All right, and we got the honey going. We're gonna go ahead and pull some honey out of here. You just waiting on me? Hello? What you doing? Waiting on me? Okay, you waiting on me? I'll be out there in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do about, I don't know, two tablespoons of honey. No, maybe one, one full tablespoon of honey, okay? We're gonna take any kind of thing that you got to stir with and go ahead and stir her in, stir her in. Stir it in, stir it in, we're gonna stir it real good. Stir it real, real good. Now, I must tell y'all something. We got this going, and it's going to make like a gravy-ish kind of thing going on here for these noodles. But let me tell y'all something right here. Ain't no dogs in my kitchen. Eat out, boy. We're about to take a little bit of this to me to show up right here. You feel me? You feel me? We're about to put a little dribbling. Get yeah, out of my kitchen, you a dog. Ain't no dog in here. We don't want no half in our food. Bowl. So we put that in there, right there, like that. 
And I'm telling you right here, you got to put that little bit of that tomato sauce in over here so it can start getting nice and cooked up. Now, once you season these on, you're going to turn them on real low up front so it'll stay nice and hot. Kind of like my last girlfriend. She's still nice and hot, okay? You see this right here? Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it real good, okay? Like DDG did on his, uh, he whipped whipped his hand around on that Triller video really good so we so we got that pasta if you want to dwell into that you could right now and it would be delish okay we coming over here I'm on a pot of chicken now we can go ahead what do you know about that chicken y'all getting the chicken right that money right getting the chicken you know what I'm saying so we gonna go ahead and Whip that chicken around. Okay. Now what you can do if you want to be like me, what you can do and you want to stop and you don't want to wait to eat, but what you can do is you take a little can do and you get a little water, just a little itty bitty titty witty bit of water and you pour it in and let that meat boil get all the grease up out in and you put it on high and let that turkey boil in all right so we're gonna make that thing go high i'm done with this little thing see how the meat get caught in there i don't like that me no likey I like my regular, uh, let's go ahead and rinse that down. I like my regular. Okay. So while we're waiting on that to be boiling, it shouldn't take long. I want to try these noodles here. You want to try these noodles? All right. Open your for dinner. Yum yum. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Tastes like barbecue noodles. I might have a new recipe. Yo, these taste like straight up barbecue noodles. Have to have me, have me another flavor. Ah, uh, I found a way, y'all. Everything you just put in here, if you are allergic to tomato sauce, everything except the tomatoes, I am sure it'll taste like tomato sauce. Mmm. There you go, doggy. Barbecue noodles. Real light, smoky taste. Make good honey mustard barbecue. For somebody who, um, what's the honey mustard or mustard in it? Somebody who has, um, uh, tomato allergies. So, yes, I'm using the fork I bit off of y'all. Let me go look over here and take a little mix and see what's going on in this, this, this beautiful. The hot starting to cook. You add that water, you add that water. I got that water and that chicken. I got the water, I'm getting the chicken. I got the water, getting the chicken. My sons and daughter eat finger licking good in they hood tonight. Mm. Okay. So, what you're going to do, when you put in your pot, you're going to add the vegetables next. You can either add some water or let it fry up. I'm going to add some water. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Get the vegetables going. And I'm going to add the sauce. Okay. Get that junk cranky. Then I'm going to show you how to season the sauce. And then we're going to put it together. 
Daddy, he'll be right back. Hot tub, veggie hot tub party. All veggies invited if you name them onion and pepper. Go ahead and slap them rolls up in that oven, y'all. Let me show you what I got kind of rolls for us today. We got the shoemaker's rolls. Mom and Daddy buy them all the time. This is a different brand, but Walmart has shoemaker roll. All of these have dinner yeast rolls, so by Lovins. So this is dinner yeast rolls. Make sure your your melted stuff is not your meltable um, utensils for stirring is not left in your pots. We're grown. I don't have to tell y'all that. But for y'all children watching, you definitely know. You don't want that there now. That old paper towel with that meat thing on, throw that away right quick while you at it. Waddle in. In, boy. In. So I just set it right there, like that. So we're going to go ahead and put these on a tray, a dinner tray. How we're going to do that is we're going to spray away. That fork right there. Can y'all see that fork on the? I don't like putting my utensils on the counter. It's just so dirty to me. Okay, even if you have clean counters, I mean it's okay. My counters ain't always perfectly clean. I ain't gonna lie to you because I can't see. I can't tell whether there's germs there or not. So we had it on 400. Well, we gonna take it down a notch. What the bag says. bag says 350. So we're going to take it down to 300. Okay. And we're going to put one across here. And basically these are garlic rolls. It takes less butter because you don't have to put no butter on them. You just make these. You don't have to put no butter on them. I'll show you what you do. Whoa. I'll get that off camera. Okay. So once you got it on, got them in the tray, you're going to spray. Huh. Take some garlic powder. Sprinkle it across, just on the roll. Don't get it on the pan if you can. You're gonna take some sea salt, sprinkle it across. Just a dab. And you're going to, last but not least, you can add any kind of herbs you want. But me, honey pie, I'm just gonna put a dash of honey in whatever form or whatever shape you wanna do. I just do me a little cross down the middle or a stake that Jesus died on. And we want to say, please forgive us for our sins. Give us now our daily bread. Get it? Give us now our daily bread. Forgive us for our sins. And please give us now our daily bread. Now you pop these bad boys in the oven. And you wait. You go and check on your chicken. And your vegetables make sure they're cooking good give them a stir they boiling i like to just boil it y'all then you can fry it up afterward but i'm trying to do a little bit low fat and faster so once you get those once you see that chicken meat is cooked which i do don't put it down in there a little bit longer if there's water in it leave the water in it add the tomato sauce because all them onions and peppers that done boiled down in there, you're going to get that good flavor. Then you're going to come on with this right here, this honey mustard in. I mean, this honey. And get it down in there, you know what I'm saying? And then when you're done, you're going to top it with this salty cheese, which is now very salty. Parmesan grated. And you're going to go to work. Now, we have chicken for dinner as well that can go in the oven. But I think I'm saving that chicken for tomorrow. Because I think this is going to be plenty. It is so nutrient dense. 
so thick and so creamy. I'm gonna have me two helpings. What can I say? I made it. So we waiting on that stuff to go real, real good. Really quick, let's talk about some things. So, what is inside curry powder? A lot of people wanna know. I got the original Jamaican jerk curry powder for about $2.36 at Walmart. And there's one for $1.98. I think this is the $1.98 one because it's mild, but we'll see. So, if you wanna take a look and see what's in the ingredients, it says spices, including turmeric, salt, and dehydrated onion. Now when you look at the salt, it only has 15 milligrams in this whole thing. So if you want to have something that's non-salty to flavor the food with, turmeric is an acquired taste. I don't know what the spices that they put in here, but this is mild curry powder, taste of Jamaica. If you make it the right way with the water, the sauces, and the gravies, mm -mm -mm, it'll have your mouth watering careful with the butters especially the clarified butters now I hear that I see that um, that 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 vegetable gumbo over there that's what I like to call it some vegetable gumbo gumbo spaghetti mm. look at that boiling get it nice and good and chicken I think that chicken is done We're about to take a look right quick right quick it quick Take a look one more again. You see, I got my country accent going on here today. I mean, I done lived all around. I done talked to all types of people. I'm pretty good with the voices now. Okay. First, we're gonna put this garlic in here really quick. I can tell y'all that. Lots of garlic. sanitizer counter before I did this. So okay, so we got that going on here. We're gonna go ahead and mix and stir this around so you see what you're getting down in there. Look at the beautiful juices and stuff coming up. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and dump this whole thing of sauce in. Now I'm gonna go ahead let it sit upside down right here. I'm not going to add no water to that because we got plenty of water in here. And I wish I could just toot this back a little, which I'm going to have to. Okay, so y'all can kind of see down in there. Let that get all up in there. Okay. We're going to take some honey and let it squeeze up in there. You can get the sugar-free honey at Walmart for $2.12 on the East Coast. Yeah. That's a sugar-free one. It has alcohol sugars, which do not help you gain belly... Will help you steer away from gaining belly fat. It doesn't mess with your insulin or your pancreas, okay? So we're going to go ahead and stir that in. We're going to honey it up one more time. We're going to go ahead and add one, two, three... Salt <clears throat> to make it have a little Italian flavor. One, two, three of the sages. Okay. Okay, we're going to wait a little while until it cooks down. Once it starts cooking down, getting real robust, we're going to put some more honey in it. Let it set for two minutes, sprinkle a little salt on it, then go ahead and pour it on top of the noodles and mix it all in one, plate it up and serve it. Thank you so much. It's the best and the delicious, most eccentric, down home, exquisite spaghetti. 
better have you dipping your hand in that pan over and over again. Not only to make it, but to taste it. Not only to taste it, but to share it. Not only to share it, but to make it time and time again for your family and your friends. Don't forget to zip up your Ziploc bag of rolls and put them back in that freezer. I'll see y'all in a few. Underwears and my pants is falling down. Don't want to give y'all extra flash. You ain't paid for. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. Oh, look at that beautiful hot mama right there. This is getting really good. The next day it's even better. So I got this beautiful, beautiful boss sauce. Low fat. Woo, it's really hot. You need to protect your hand, y'all. Because it will burn you. Just the smoke will burn you. And I ain't going to say it kind of like my ex on this one. On that comment there. Right, so, look. I'm going to go ahead and dump all this goodness into this pan. Turn that back burner off. Then I'm going to come over here. Put that fork in the sink. Use this one that kind of fell over and hit the counter. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. I said I did clean it with soap and water. Should have did bleach wipe, but I didn't have them. They had been used in the other room for the dog, and I did not want to make that a part of my remedy. Oh, look at this beautiful sauce. Oh, like where is the actual sauce? Where's the tomato paste? Where's the redness? Uh, usually I use tomato paste. This time I use the sauce. I use one can. Whoa. I got on my shirt. Like, whoa. When it gets on stuff, I just kind of use my hand mitt and wipe it off on that because I have a few of them in my dirty clothes. And put them in the dirty clothes pile. So I got this right here. I'm saving the red sauce. I'm all about saving. Some of y'all might want to add more red sauce. I suggest if you want to add anything, add tomato paste. Um, it thickens it and makes it nice and red and whatnot. Now, this you want to add a little bit more honey. Honey. Oh yes, honey. I want to add the whole bear now, almost. Everything but the whole bear, basically what you're supposed to add. Seriously, everything but the whole bear. So you garlic it up a little bit more. Garlic it up a little bit more. And salt. Mix it. If you have more sauce you want to add, or tomato paste, go ahead and add it. As it gets lower and lower, you will see the red sauce come up to the top. So, let's go ahead and dig in and try this. Now, I like it preferably the next day, but sometimes it's just too good. You just got to have it that day. Okay. Oh, it is. It smells good. Oh, great. Well, you'll be ready to dig in right now. Go ahead and turn your rolls off. See how I just knew how they were done because they're done. They're done cooking. I mean, I let them cook. You feel me? The rolls ain't burnt neither. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take this side of them. And pull them on out. And they smell great. And they look great too. Look at them. <sighs> yes, time and time again, I'm cooking for my friends and my family, okay? We do big plates, small plates here. Small plates happen to be on the bottom. This is an endless pit, so we don't have to do 
small plates only, big plates only. Okay, this is an endless pit. You can have as much as you want. So, I'm going to start off small, and if you get, if you want more, have more. Chicken spaghetti, it's the best. I love seeing people come back for seconds. So, I wish my daughter could have this right here. And my mother, my father, and my brothers and sisters could learn the good old cooking that Mamma Jamma done learned from them. Especially from my mom and stuff. It's from my big appetite, like to eat. So, come on down, ma. Wait a minute. Smack me once, call me twice, call me pickle, paint, and green. We got this one here. I'm, I'm, I'm letting y'all see the plate, because the plate's prettier than me today. Hopefully, I get to fix my hair today. If I scare y'all again on my next video. All right, let's take a look at this one right here. Okay. Gotta get a nice amount of that cheese on top. She likes less cheese than me, but I'm gonna get a little bit more, because you know what I'm saying? That's just how, that's just how that sudden half cap do. You know what I'm saying? All right, come on, get it on, come on down. Come get your crown. I'm waiting to make my plate, so you know I'm like, come on down now. Come on down now, forever hold your piece. And I know you're gonna hold two, three pieces of them rolls. Come on down. Anyway, this is Nixie Baby, signing off, telling you it's delish, cause you know it is. And you gotta try it for yourself. I'm about to dig in and make my plate. Take a little sip. Oh, it's so hot. I can't even do that, y'all. I got to make my plate. But I love y'all. Take care. And we'll see you next time. I don't want to talk over this person's plate. All right. Love deuces. Love peace and chicken grease. I mean, yeah.